Hi, I'm Rhonda. Angie's behind the camera, and we're Adventures in Nomadness. Wanna know why we would take a trip to California from Arizona and then just to turn around after six days to drive all the way back to Quartzsite? Wow, so this is like the fifth or sixth try at doing this video. And normally, you're just like a couple shots at it and we're done. But this particular video is a little bit more difficult to do. And it's a, on a serious topic. Angie's gonna do her best to get through this. And hopefully you'll get something positive out of this because the intent here is really to uh, celebrate Angie's stepmom's life and to encourage you all to live your lives because we just don't know what's going to happen today or tomorrow. So yeah, we drove all the way from uh, Quartzsite, Arizona over to the California coast uh, to spend five nights over here and then we're going to head back over to Quartzsite. Uh, the reason is my stepmom 20 years ago on January 31st, 2000 was on the Alaska Airlines plane that, uh, plane that crashed off the coast of California here. Uh, it was absolutely devastating and something that quite literally changed my life uh, in, so many way, in so many ways. Uh, it was extremely devastating. She, was my, she married my dad when I was five years old and was like a second mom to me for the next 25 years. She was kind, generous, funny, and everything you could hope for in a second mom. So coming here for the 20th anniversary was kind of important to me, even though it was a bit of a long drive uh, just to head back to Arizona again, uh, but totally, totally worth it. Um, what kind of the biggest thing I took out of her death and some other tragedies that happened in my life within a few years after that is that life is short. So I, I hope that by watching our videos and uh, seeing us get out there, that hopefully it inspires you as well, because obviously we're never guaranteed tomorrow, whether that be you know, an illness or a plane crash or any other types of, of uh, tragedies that can happen. She was only 53 uh, years old. The, the hardest part about all that, we were extremely close for 25 years. Unfortunately, not, not the last two years though. Um, fortunately, my so-called gay lifestyle and her newfound religion weren't a great match, and so we didn't talk for the last two years. It's something that I never thought was going to be permanent, and unfortunately it did turn out to be permanent when she died on that plane crash. Um, you know, sometimes that happens, and sometimes this, you need a break from your family members, and even though you don't think it's going to be permanent, sometimes it can turn out to be that way. Uh, and so, you know, even if you can't mend your fences, I hope that if uh, you run into a situation like that, that uh, you at least have told that person that you love them. I know how much she loved me, and I know she knows that I loved her as well. So, uh, I wanted to end off of this video with some uh, footage of her. It's kind of a little bit of a memorial to her, and uh, that's our time in California here. So, she, I, I choose to... Uh, come back to the 20th anniversary and honor the woman that was my second mom for 25 years. This is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. Uh, today is the day of remembering, honoring, and recognizing, and understanding. It is a day we have pain and a day we have feeling of making a difference. The knife. And I can feel the sun on my skin.
Because of an answer to prayer and a lot of changes with Alaska Airlines and their leadership, an early and complete apology is now available. So we are so excited about that. He's very sincere and uh, a very warm person. And I now have the honor and privilege of introducing him, the CEO of Alaska Airlines. There are not a lot of things on my desk, but one is a small acrylic square given to me by some of you, recognizing your loss and reminding the leaders at Alaska to never forget this part of our history. I'm writing today to apologize for the tragedy. Of Flight 261. our airplane crashed off these waters. Idiot people lost their lives that day, including your family. Alaska was responsible. For the loss of 261. For that and for your loss, I am extremely sorry. Harry Stasinos. This is a good day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many when the old one's gone under the knife. And I can feel the sun on my skin. They've all gone out the window of this car And when I 